might not have looked like the Jazz did all that much at the trade deadline on Thursday, but if you talk to general manager Justin Zanuck, he'll tell you that the Jazz were actually one of the few winners this week. The Jazz, the only team in the league to get a first-round draft pick without having to take any money on. The Jazz traded Kelly Olenek and Ochai Abaji to the Toronto Raptors for that 2024 first-round pick, as well as veteran forward Otto Porter Jr. and guard Kara Lewis. The Jazz now have 13 first-round draft picks over the next six seasons, as well as three pick swaps. They also picked up an early second-round pick in the Simone Fontecchio trade to the Pistons. But that left many Jazz fans asking, why more draft picks? Why not add a star player? When you look at all the other various trades, there wasn't an impact player available that moves the needle in our timeline. Um, and our timeline is one where we want to build around the core that we were able to keep intact. The strength of our team this year has been, I think, we have a lot, a lot of depth. And some of it's young depth that needs to be developed. And this being part of the plan is you accumulate some assets that were those teams paid a premium price relative to what else ever else was in the market uh, to acquire our players. Zanuck and Ainge want players that can move the needle, that can help this franchise make a run deep into the playoffs. They want to add to the talent that Larry Markkinen already brings to the team. But the player isn't out there, at least not yet. When that player or players become available, the Jazz, they'll be in a position to pounce. You want to get the best players that you can, you want to get the best players in the world. That's all we I mean, and then you figure it out, because chances are if you've got two or three top 30 players, I don't really care what position or role, I think you can make it the more the better. So we're looking for talent that's better than what we got.